there are three things that we do to the nation. Number one, we are called upon to respect the authorities. That's Romans 13 verse 1. That's number one. Number two, we are called upon to pray for those in authority and for the kings. I said number one, every Christian and every church member has a divine responsibility and it's a calling that we respect and honor those in authority. Then number two, we have a divine responsibility to pray for them. We respect them. We pray for them. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 2. A prayer must be made to all those in authority. But there is another responsibility that we do as men of God. That we have a duty to guide, to advise, to correct, and to warn the authorities in a case of calamity. Or if we see that there is going to be a problem. I want to tell the nation, we have to be very careful with wrong advice. We have to be very careful with wrong advice and the deception. You remember what wrong advice caused to Israel? After, after Rehoboam came into power. Wrong advice divided the nation of Israel into two. Because wrong advice leads to wrong decision making and wrong decisions always divide people. Rehoboam received wrong advice in 1 Kings chapter 12 verse 5. You can make your study. And the nation of Israel that was intact under the wisdom of Solomon his father divided. On, on Tuesday this week that has ended the Lord revealed to me five things that the government of Kenya must do not to sink. Failure to embrace this, it will sink. This sounds like a warning, but indeed it's not. It's advice. Five things our government must avoid to avoid sinking. Number one, top on the list, they must avoid disrespect among leaders. That's what God said. They must avoid disrespect among leaders the demon of junior leaders disrespecting senior leaders that was in the previous jubilee government has found its way into the kenya kwanza government and that demon must be cast out of this nation in the name of jesus that's a bad demon you remember the demon was in some junior leaders that were considering the debut president then as a clerk of the president that demon is back and the insensitivity of the government may make the demon prosper and flourish the men of god who are in kenya including myself we must be able to pray because that demon will not be operating at the top only it will even come to schools where junior teachers will disrespect their principal and their debit principles the demon must leave this nation Amen. i say the demon must leave kenya it will go down to families where children will find it obvious to disrespect their parents. A demon of disrespect among leaders. No, that thing existed in the last regime where a minister was more powerful than a debit president. What level of insensitivity is that? There must be respect, honestly. There are always people that must submit. Even in a family case, God says, wives submit to your husbands. Not because they, are, they have more money than you. But it's order. There must be order. Praise God. Yeah. Number two. We must avoid the hypocrisy of senior leaders pretending to know everything and threatening junior leaders of losing their jobs immaturity of intimidation that is an awkward way of approaching things for a senior leader to be respected you, sh <laughs> you must never intimidate juniors that's not how you lead you don't scare people that they will lose their jobs if they don't jump up when you are shouting. That will demoralize 
the junior leaders and it will cause it will lead to lack of effectiveness in their service delivery they will just fear you but they will be doing nothing it's our duty a christian duty to respect those in authority because we believe and we know nobody can rise to office of authority without god ordaining him for it we must coexist we must coexist we are not saying that we must embrace mediocrity no what we are saying is that we must coexist kenya is one and all of us are kenyans and we must live in this country whether we went to school or we never went to school whether we are born again or we are not born again whether we are married or we are not we must coexist and i want to say this to the leaders i wish you knew you are not permanent number three we must avoid misuse and disrespect of courts people are spending too much money to forward even trivial matters to court misuse of places legal places of authority places that have a legal mandate there's too much misuse of that number four the drama between the police and the ESC. this this drama between the police and the ESC must stop because i can sense danger coming there will be exchange of bullets very soon this drama must end there must be respect between police and other officers if you believe police are doing something wrong must you arrest them on camera for us to see it is what is causing the disrespect between the police and the army police officers making fellow security officers to sit down and we take it as something for online there is a danger coming if we will not have respect among the leaders I'm, 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 i mean i don't understand is there no other better way on how ESC can arrest offenders is there no way but this mentality of the ESC arresting the police on camera and in view of everyone to show that they are working is irresponsible policemen are officers of the state security officers you know why the army have their own courts it's because you cannot take an army officer to a civilian court equally the policemen must be respected if somebody is believed to have offended the ESC can take their video then go to the station and take that officer to the security courts but to expose an officer to the civilian how do you expect us to respect that officer that's why you see the civilians are fighting the police everywhere because the ESC is leading the way this must stop some of these laws must be adjusted and they must be changed they are too archaic to exist in the current Kenya I think that need, this need to transform the thinking of this nation we have a problem number five the, this country must stop must avoid disrespecting and ignoring men of God failing to take men of God serious is a catastrophe in itself we are not here by accident we are here by design we have been brought here by God to offer divine direction on matters of men and even on the affair on the issues of governance men of God are not in this country or other countries by mistake it's by design that they can hear from God and offer direction to the leaders so these governments and this government of Kenya so to say must stop disrespecting and ignoring men of God